everyone, it is Gamer Catnup. We're now back with another Japan Crate Haul. And this one is super cool because this is the Attack on Titan special edition of Japan Crate. This is the January box. I'm doing this one a little bit late. And I'm super excited. When this show first came out, oh, that intro, I was hooked on it. So good. I watched it for the sub version. Excellent. Love it so much. Haven't seen season two. Still gotta put that in. So the first thing I notice is, of course, the booklet. And there's a little bit of comics in the beginning, and they tell you a little bit of information about some stuffs. But another thing is you get this really cool card, and it's mostly just telling you about it has a code for a digital edition. I don't know if it expires, but obviously I'm not going to show you the code. But it's actually a, a pretty thick card. So that's pretty cool. You get some digital story thing. So, bonus Jonas. We got that. And let's just go right into the snacks. I think some of these are supposed to be Attack on Titan themed, but otherwise it's, I don't know how they selected the snacks. So I guess we'll find out. So the first thing that comes out to me are these chips, I think. Okay, so they are potato chips. They are the Uma Salt potato chips. Sasha would agree that there is no such thing as too many potatoes. I'm thinking that's the girl that always eats potatoes. It's been a while since I watched the show. These chips are perfectly salted and have a tasty umname flavor thanks to a blend of bonito flakes, dried anchovies, and kanbu. But do not fret, they are not fishy, just savory delicious. I don't know what most of those words are. I knew what anchovies are, but I don't know the other one. So I'm guessing these snacks are related to the show, stuff they would have eaten. I just remember the potato girl. She was always eating raw potatoes. I think they were raw. I don't know if they were cooked. They smell a little fishy. Gonna... Gonna be honest here, slightly, they kind of remind me of fish and chips, that smell you get. They give you like nothing in this bag. This is like a bag of Lay's, there's not much in here. But they do, they, they just look like potato chips, regular potato chips. To be honest, they kind of just taste like Lay's. I don't even taste any sea salt on them. Not a bad thing. But it kind of tastes like a little bit stale Lay's. So, I guess you would like it. There's no greasiness on them either. That one tastes slightly fishy. Otherwise, pretty much tastes like Lay's. The next thing I notice looks like another maybe corn chip or potato chip. Onigiri Senbei. Senbei is a staple traditional Japanese snack. Typically, they are shaped into circular discs. But these are specially shaped and triangular onigiri, so rice balls. So I think I think it was Pokemon. For onigiri, they would call them donuts. Even though they're like, when Brock was eating his onigiri, he'd be like, that prime rape took my donuts. And I was like, that was so dumb translation. Like, no one's going to know what that is. Hmm. I don't know what the snack is supposed to be. Just circular disc. They kind of look like, they kind of have the shape of onigiri. I don't think I've actually had it. Is this just rice with seaweed? Can't remember. Mm. It tastes like it's hard rice puffs. It doesn't really taste like going to Gary. It kind of tastes like buttered popcorn. I don't know if that's supposed to be what it tastes like. It's not bad. It's, it tastes like every other normal rice puff cake. It's really hard, but it's pretty good. I wish it did. <clears throat> tastes more like seaweed, but it's really good. So here is the DIY kit. Come home to your own mini feast of Japanese desserts in this fun DIY. You can create a variety of treats with different wagashi Japanese dessert shapes and enjoy a taste of traditional Jap Japan with a modern DIY candy twist. And again, this will eventually be in another video, but they do look really cute. I do love what we see. I'm hoping they're not just gummies, but actually like different flavors. So that'd be kind of cool. Not entirely sure what these are, but they kind of look like glasses, and these are transformed glasses. You, you too can transform into a manga character with these fun manga-inspired glasses. There are forty-eight different styles. Which one do you receive? It has calories on it, so I'm guessing these are glasses you can eat. So I'm not sure if they're gummy or how exactly that is. Um, I think uh, I'm not sure if you can actually eat. Okay, I don't know why they put calories on these. Why do they- You cannot eat this. This is literally- <laughs> These are literally- Oh my god! Why does it smell? Is- Is there supposed to be can- Oh my god, I think there, there actually is candy. 
This looks a little racist. I don't know if it's supposed to be... Okay, I think this is... Am I supposed to look at this through this, or is it just gum? This might be the calories. It like, might be candy or gum, but this is a... <laughs> Why do I have this? Why is this a thing? You literally just put your face on it, that's it? Looks kind of weird to me, but I can only look through like one at a time. Or am I supposed to do more? I don't know. It's kind of weird. I think this is because there's calories on us. So I'm guessing this is what you do. I don't know if I'm doing this wrong, but I can't look at it. But uh, yeah. This is a thing. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm definitely excited for this next one. It has like this weird jelly texture and I'm so excited. So it's a jelly stick. I don't want to butcher this. Konyaku is from the konjac plant that grows in Asia that gets processed into flour and mixed with water and lime water. It has almost no calories and high in fiber, so you can eat this completely guilt-free. Warning, Konyaku does not dissolve like gelatin, so to prevent choking, it must be chewed carefully, especially by the very young and elderly. Ooh, that's a little scary. So, oh, I love jelly. I'm really curious to try this, so. They, they literally filled it up, and I don't think there's a safe way to open this without making a mess. So let me try carefully. Oh, it's oozy. It's oozy. It's, uh... I don't even know if I open it. Wow. I didn't make a big enough hole, but... It's very thick jelly. They weren't kidding about that. This is, like, very processed. But it's you definitely cannot just swallow this and, like, use your tongue like you normally would. It's not bad, though. It kind of doesn't really have much flavor to it. It's more of a texture thing. But it's not bad. It could use a little bit more flavor. And definitely a regular jello is a little bit easier. <laughs> this next item looks a little strange. It is called the Bottle Sour Candy. kind of looks like a baby bottle pop a little bit. While this bottle looks like a drink, it is in fact a powdered candy. You can pour it directly into your mouth or eat it from your hand. Try some sprinkled over yogurt. It comes in three flavors, strawberry, green apple, and cider. I don't know which one it is. This one's blue. I don't know strawberry, green apple, or cider. They show a pink one in here, so I'm assuming this one's not strawberry. But I have no idea what blue would be. Sprinkled over yogurt. Why would I sprinkle this over yogurt? That's a... A weird suggestion. So I'm just gonna pour it right in my mouth. If I could open it. Will I be able to smell it? Uh, it doesn't smell like any of those three things. Whoa. It dissolves very quickly. Maybe green apple? It's hard to say. Because it's blue. It's not that sour. Hmm. Pretty much the moment you put it in your mouth, it dissolves completely. It's definitely the- it's like weird, because it has an audible sound to it. But you can definitely- you can hear it, but it dissolves really quickly. I would have liked it if it was a little bit more sour. It's kind of like a, just a regular dissolving candy. Definitely Bottle Pop here is a lot more sour than this is. But it's not bad. It's pretty good. It says special quality. I like it. So this next one looks- like a hand or a snail. I'm gonna guess by the back that it's a hand. And this is a gummy cola. Kind of don't listen to the old adi adage, don't play for food. Now you don't have to either with this fun cola gummy. Each pack is shaped after a hand from rock, scissors, paper. Isn't it rock, paper, scissors? And it is so reminiscent of stretchy hand toys, so feel free to play with this candy. And I think I got scissors. That's kind of weird, but okay. Oh, I'm guessing this untwirls and you can play with it. That's kind of cool. Can I like, oh, maybe not. It's really sticky. Like this is not coming out. This is, uh, I don't know how you can stretch with this. I wonder if it, cause I had it in the box for too long, but okay. You can kind of, you can't really unravel it, but here's what it looks like. You, you want, it's like, it's tempting you to unravel it, but you're just going to break it cause it's one solid piece. But it's it's definitely very sticky. Can I actually... Whoa! This is definitely the strongest flavored cola candy I've had in any of these boxes. 
And this is probably my favorite one. This is better than the Haribo Bears. The cola ones. This one has a lot more flavor. God damn. That tastes exactly like Coca-Cola. Perfect. That is... If I had a whole bag of these, this would be the best. These are really good. Right now, this is my favorite thing out of this box. Another small item I found is this banana. And it is the chocolate banana. Chocolate bananas are always a favorite at Japanese festivals. And now it's made into a candy form for you to enjoy. May you feel like a titan eating this bite-sized banana. I feel like I should rewatch the show because I'm not understanding a lot of these references that they're making. If there's anything with bananas, I'm not really sure. It definitely smells like chocolate. So immediately you see a chocolate coating. I think it's just a full piece of chocolate. I thought, it, oh, yep, it's just a chocolate wedge. Okay, so that's kind of cool. So, piece of chocolate. I'm assuming it's just food coloring. Otherwise, it's just going to be chocolate or will it be banana flavored? It is actually slightly banana flavored. So the layers are inside. So it's definitely a chocolate. It does taste like chocolate banana, so that's really cool. Guys, I am so excited for this next item. They gave us an entire box of Pocky. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. I think last time I did it, it was a half size. This actually has two packs in it. Colorful shower. Interesting wording, but two packs of Pocky? They are so generous with these boxes. So this is lemon flavor Pocky. I don't know where it was lemon. It looks like, I thought it was birthday cake. So to celebrate the new year, take a bite of these special lemon cake flavored Pocky. The color for shower or sprinkles make it feel like a celebration. Did you know Pocky comes from the onomatopoeia for chomping down pokey pokey on these delicious biscuits? So chomp away like a titan. Lemon. Not sure how I feel about that. I'm usually a little bit iffy towards lemon. Oh my god. Look at the two bags. <gasps> Do they have <gasps> They're actually different. Okay. That is cute. So one of them has little penguins and a little penguin family on it. The other one has balloons. Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. I love that. And there's more penguins on the back. Look at that. Oh my god, they're having such a fun time. That is so cute. So lemon. Lemon cake. I don't know how how do you get a cake flavor? Oh, that's definitely lemon. I'm usually not a big fan of lemon. The lemon popcorn by Mike was actually pretty good. It doesn't look like lemon. That's the interesting part. So it's definitely, it comes off as white. It's slightly yellow color. It's kind of hard to tell. Yep. Definitely a very strong lemon taste. And the fries, they would give two packs of this flavor. Because not a lot of people like lemon. It's not bad. I would have liked it if it wasn't lemon. But lemon cake, there's a slight sweet aftertaste of like a, kind of like that cake. Because lemon cake, it's usually very lemony and then a cake aftertaste, so it's pretty good. The next one is cabbage taro, this cute little frog dude. There is actually no cabbage in these at all. They are covered in a rich Japanese brown sauce and seaweed that make the puffs look like little cabbages. Though the manufacturer does not confirm or deny that this is the reason the snack is called cabbage taro. That is a little... Random. Okay. I don't know what this has to do. Is there cabbages in the show? Woo! That smells interesting. I'm guessing that's the smell of the plant taro. Ooh. They kind of look like... They look like tater tots, if I'm being honest. More than cabbages. These are tater tots. Just saying. Ooh. They have a little bit of spice on them. Ooh, that must be the taro. Because it's strong. They're definitely, like, extra seasoned. It's not like it's pepper, but it's definitely salty. And it was like a kick. Maybe like, a, not like a cayenne pepper, but definitely like a whoosh kind of kick. They're pretty good. Definitely don't look like cabbages. They look like tater tots. Or like puffs. Tater tot puffs. So this one I wasn't really sure what it was. Because I thought it was going to be one of those umaibo sticks. But it's actually a Big Bar Z milk. Big Bar Z is the titan sized version of the smaller original Bar Z. This light crunchy puff is covered in a white chocolate to emulate a sweet milk flavor. That's interesting. It looks like there's supposed to be a filling inside, but I can't tell if that's supposed to be a filling or just like emptiness. So milk flavor, huh? That sounds interesting. I don't 
I think we had a chocolate corn puff in the last box. Never. Oh, we need. So white chocolate should taste good. I don't know if the white chocolate just tastes like milk. Okay, now I got it open. Took a while. Whoa. Yep. So it's definitely open. There's nothing in there. But it smells like milk. It smells like a really sweet milk. Oh my. It is huge. It is definitely bigger than the umaibe. It's, it's... You can't see it. I'm just... It's as big as my hand. It's really thick. About the size of my thumb. If there's a white chocolate coating, you can't really see it. It's kind of hard. Hmm. I might like this one better than the chocolate one. You don't really taste the white chocolate. I thought it was going to be like literally coated with it. But it's actually a really nice flavor. Definitely more of the white chocolate than the milk flavor. But it's really good. It's a really good sweet treat. So here we have what looks like more chips. is Potato chips, salt, and Hokkaido kanbu. You won't be able to resist stealing these potato dot 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 chips. These special edition chips use carefully harvested potatoes from Hokkaido for an especially delicious taste. The kanbu flavor adds a unique savory flavor that has both that has a borf or meaty taste. Is it supposed to be broth? It literally says B O R T H. Borf or meaty taste, so you too can snack like a titan. What is kanbu and what is borf? What is a borf or meaty taste? Do enlighten me. I'm not entirely sure. Only do they make these bags really hard to open. Oh, finally, I got it. Whoa, that is a s strong potato chip taste. I'm like spitting everywhere. I'm so excited. Again, they kind of just smell like Lay's. And there's not much in the bag. They look pretty much similar to the last one. They definitely were playing on the potato thing. But these look pretty much like the other one, except not as burnt. These have a slightly different flavor. These actually have slightly more flavor than the other ones did. I don't know what kanbu is, but this one definitely has a little bit more of that. It just kind of tastes like Lay's. I'm kind of disappointed about that. Maybe like a little bit better. They're definitely not as greasy as Lay's here are. So for potato chips, these are pretty good. This is the last treat and it says Black Thunder Kanako. We can't have our own thunder spears to fight titans with, but we can draw strength from Japanese favorite, Black Thunder. This time it comes in Kanata flavor, infusing a sweet soy powder in the milk chocolate. So I think we had this in the last one. It came in a really small package, but it was like really chocolatey, really good. And this one looks like, almost like it has a s'mores filling, but I guess it's the Kinako they were talking about. And it's the sweet soy powder in the milk. I'm not sure what sweet soy powder means. It smells like soy sauce. <laughs> not gonna lie, it literally smells like soy sauce. And I'm not sure how I feel about this. I'm a little confused with the chocolate and soy sauce. Uh, but I'm willing to try anything once. So this one is not butchered, but this is definitely the Black Thunder we know. It has the crumbly tops, and it's not melted this time. Chocolatey. You don't really taste the soy sauce. There's like a slight, something's throwing off the chocolate, and I think it's the soy sauce. It has like the crispies on the inside. You don't really taste soy sauce, but you taste something different. If I think about it, now I'm tasting the soy sauce. Not a bad thing. It's definitely different with the soy, but I like it. It's really good. So the last item is the beverage, and we have this cool looking bottle, pretty much Attack on Titan theme, I'm assuming. I don't know what the the do's with the, the ears are, but we have this with a giant QR code, and it says, trick your friends with this white cola. The color won't make you believe that this tastes just like cola, plus the delicious taste will make you want to guzzle it down just as the word Gomano me suggests. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing this is kind of similar to the Pepsi White. That it has no color, but it tastes like cola. Because it's all food color anyway. And again, I did not put this in the fridge because I don't want to get up. It smells like Pepsi. 
It's always hard to get the difference between Pepsi and Coca Cola. Yeah, it, it literally just smells like either Coke or Pepsi. It tastes good. I don't. I forgot the difference between Pepsi and Coke. There's a slight difference in the sweetness, but it's good. Tastes like regular soda, and it's white. I think it's actually. I think we have clear Pepsi. I think it's supposed to be Pepsi Clear or something. But still, it's white, so it's kind of cool. Delicious. So my favorites would be, for savory, these chips. Really good. A lot more flavor. And then for the sweet would be the milk white chocolate. I definitely would, like, buy these a lot. Oh, and also, I almost forgot because it's empty. But this cola one, that was the best cola candy I've ever had out of any of these boxes. These are definitely, like, I would buy these from the store. So the only ones that I can think of that I would wish they didn't put in the box was the thing with the eyes that was kind of a little weird for me and then maybe this candy it didn't really taste sour and it was just kind of like sugar in a thing it's not like I didn't hate them it was just kind of strange to have these two definitely like together <laughs> just kind of strange but otherwise this is a really good box I definitely love this soda this is probably one of my favorite beverages from the box because it's just soda but definitely like this box so please make sure to like the video below, leave any comments. Have you tried any snacks before? Would you hope you can try to find these snacks? Make sure to follow my Twitter for any video announcements I might make. And make sure to subscribe to my channel to see when I upload the next video. See you guys later.